be showing how to use ProSociate and WooCommerce to develop a niche affiliate site. You know, eons ago in Internet time, people would use ProSociate to build a pure storefront, a catalog of products, almost exclusively Amazon content tied to an exact match domain. Now, Google wouldn't rank you with such thin content, and Amazon, they'd likely deauthorize you for the same thin content reason. Today's world is one of niches, authority, and generally highly targeted, focused content. At Hyperaffiliate, we use ProSociate and our other affiliate tools to build a niche site. Our niche is uh, EverTrav, and it's the intersection of long-term travel, travel photography, and how to earn money while you're traveling. So this presents a few opportunities for us to have affiliate uh, links and affiliate marketing. First in the articles themselves. So we have an article here that is world power requirements. You're going on the road, you don't know what kind of power adapter to bring. This article will cover every country and what kind of voltage it uses and power adapters. It's kind of a handy thing. And you'll see that here I've left a placeholder for some power adapters and surge suppressors. And we'll put those in in a little bit and give you an idea of how that works. We have a resources page. And this is all of the travel resources, the making money online resources, and places that you can find information about the products and services we talk about are used in the uh, niche, in the EverTrap. So we have the travel affiliate links. We also have a book list here. So this is our favorite books, books on our to-read list, things like this. And uh, things like hosting companies. Again, we're uh, focusing on people trying to make money online, so hosting companies make sense. Pro associate users are often first-time uh, web developers, so they also have a need for uh, hosting companies. And finally, in our case, we have a holiday shopping guide. So for that digital nomad, that long-term traveler in your life, we have a guide to find the best gifts for them, uh, we pick the best gifts in the category, and then we have uh, more gifts in the same category to show you. Okay, let's go back and see how we did that book list, for instance. So we'll go to our resources page, and we'll see, yes, let's go ahead and leave this open, this list of books that we have. And now we're going to go to Pro Associate, and we're going to find some more books to add to that t uh, page. So we tell we're going to make a standard campaign. And there's a couple of different things we're going to do to get it to actually populate that page. First, we're going to find the books. So we're going to go to books. And where shall we look? Let's look for books on San Francisco. And the things that we need to do slightly differently is, one, I want these to be external links. I want it to go directly to Amazon, not to the local shopping cart. Two, I want to assign the products to particular categories. So that travel books is the category for this particular page. And that is about it. I can go ahead and now post these products, and it's going to go off to Amazon and find the products and bring them over here and give me the ones to look at. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time in this case looking at the details of these books. This is a demonstration. But again, if you were doing this for real, one of the most important things to do is to add value to your customer. So if you haven't read the book, if you haven't even reviewed the book or looked at the topic to see if it makes sense for your customer, then you haven't had any value. And you're going to have much lower conversions if you're in an environment where you're just blindly posting random products to the site in hopes that someone buys something. So this is just about done. I think I can go ahead and safely go over to the page with the books, which is here. And I think it's done by now, so I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page. And hopefully we'll see some San Francisco books show up there. And there we go, San Francisco, San Francisco. So very, very straightforward. How did we do that? Well, let's edit the actual page and get an idea how that happened. It's really quite simple. We're using Divi in this case, so it becomes even simpler. I remember that those books are under those six uh, first items. And this is all that it takes to make that book list show up on the page. We simply put in a WooCommerce shortcode. In this case, the shortcode is the product category shortcode. And the arguments are the category name, which the slug, which in this case was books, the number of books we want on each page is 18, and the number in each column is six. So we're going to end up with three rows of six books. That's it. That's all it took for us to go ahead 
and make this page. Really handy tool. Okay, now let's look at how we can add affiliate links to our posts. In this case, that article on the world uh, power requirements and socket adapters and voltage and things. So you recall this article, and we left a little placeholder here for putting a couple of products in. Let's go to post a new product. Now, presumably this will be in electronics, and we're looking for a third, well, let's just say power adapter. Power adapter travel. That should catch it. Now we're going to do a couple of things differently this time. One, we're going to leave it a simple variable. I want to show you that this can all be done in an add to cart environment if that makes sense for your site. We're still going to uh, have it assigned to specific categories. And I don't have a power category, so I can just go ahead and create one here. And it will create it and assign our new search to there. And I think that should do it. We can go off and find these products. And I had no trouble finding them. Let's select a few of these. And that should be good. Now, of course, like before, if we were doing this in a non-demo environment for a real site, a lot of the time required to put the products on the site is to actually evaluate the products and understand what the best products are for your customer. It does no good to just put up, as I said uh, in the beginning, just thousands and thousands and thousands of random products, thin content. Uh, it won't convert, and uh, it's, just, it's just not a good idea in today's, uh, in today's market. So it's just about done with that. I'm going to go ahead and go over to this article, and we can edit this guy. And let's go ahead and edit that. And I don't have all these short codes memorized, so I'm just going to copy this short code from my little cheat sheet here. And I intentionally didn't put this in Divi so you could see that this is just as easily done in a straight text editing mode without the uh, visual editor of Divi. So we're going to use that similar short code. We have to put in our category, which was power. Uh, we only want two. Uh, let's go with three. I think three will fit fine. We can always come back and change it to three, uh, one. That should do it. Oh, no, I'm going to, we don't actually need this order by, we don't need any of this. Okay. That should do it if I didn't make any mistakes. And we can now go ahead and view this page and see how that works. Okay, and then we get three power adapters. Now, as I said, this one's a little different in that when we select it, we're going to be taken to the description, and we have an add to cart icon, okay? So we can add this to our cart. And a nice little, uh, again, part of being in the WooCommerce environment is you have access to all the WooCommerce infrastructure. So in this case, we had a nice little widget that shows our cart in the sidebar. We also have a wish list. Again, this would be very difficult to, to build on your own, but it's a stranded WooCommerce sort of extension. Uh, there's many, many of them. And you see I've got these things on my wish list, and I can go off and see them on Amazon. Really nice. So that's how you can add to a post or an article. Let's go on and see how we built that, um, that gift list now. Okay, so here we are at our um, gift ideas for travelers, your holiday shopping list for the expats, digital nomads, or world travelers in your life. And um, let's just see how this page is made rather than watch Pro Associate post products. So we're going to edit this page, and you'll see it's another Divi page. Very straightforward, very easy to uh, organize for sure. And you'll see that this content is local, right? That image is right here, local. That text is local, this text is local. But there is a short code in here. There is this add to cart short code. So what's that doing? Well, that's bringing in just the price and the buy button. And importantly, the price is being managed by Pro Associate. So if the price changes, it will automatically be reflected here on this page. And the more gifts, well, that's just another page. And if we looked at this page, we'd see it's one of those nifty little short codes that simply 
pulls in all the items for the category, in this case 20 items, and 5 from the pillows category. Very straightforward, very easy to manage. Now, one last thing is maybe you're interested in more than just Amazon products. You know, a nice differentiator, a nice value added to your customers is to give them access to not only Amazon products, but in this case, eBay products. So we have under the tools category, we have found at Amazon, but we also have found at eBay. So how do we do that? Well, ProSocia has an eBay capability, and it works exactly like the Amazon. We can just ask to post the product, standard product, and we'll tell it the category. Of course, there's going to be different categories, but I'm going to go with sporting goods for that, and those are Leatherman. And in the optional settings, again, we're still going to make these. They're going to be external products by default, by the way. All uh, eBay products are external. They do not have a cart-to-cart uh, -cart transfer capability. We're again, we're going to assign ourselves to a category, and I've previously created that tools eBay category. That's how those items ended up there. And now we'll go off and search eBay. And let's find a few products here to add. Okay, and we'll go ahead and create those product posts. And just like the Amazon world, in this case, it's going off to eBay, talking to the API, finding the products, bringing them into WooCommerce, turning them into WooCommerce products. And it is done. We have five products before. And now we have nine products. Pretty nifty. So I hope you enjoyed that little presentation, little demonstration on how to use ProSociate and WooCommerce. There's a lot more to it, but the main message is by using ProSociate, we're converting your Amazon or eBay products to WooCommerce products. That gives you access to the entire WooCommerce ecosystem, wish lists, related products, sliders, really creative tools to build a powerful affiliate website. Thanks again. See you next time.